Oh my goodness, you guys. Found this little gem at the Goodwill outlet. So paid less than a dollar. Sold for asking price in less than 24 hours. I've never seen this one. It is a rare Noble Hearts horse Care Bear Cousin, Carlton Cards from 2004, $298 for this thing. Oh, it's a plushie. It's a stuffed animal. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. In my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I posted this, share your best June Bolo, and I invited everybody in the group to share their Bolo. Um, a Bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, so anything that you flip for a profit. If you would like to share a Bolo to have it featured in a video like this, you can head over to the Facebook group under the featured section and just look for that post. So let's look at the first one here. If you guys haven't seen my stuffed animal videos, oh my goodness, you got to check them out. Crazy. This next one, oh my goodness, everybody's fighting in the Facebook group about this one. Some people are like, oh my goodness, it's so wrong. You should not be selling this. Other people are like, you're a reseller. Sell it, sell it, sell it. Um, somebody says, I love that and I can't buy it. And ah, la, 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 la. Everybody's fighting over it, okay? If you can be nice, put down in the comments whether or not you would sell this item. So people are going to grocery stores and clearing the shelves of this item and they're listing them on eBay because there's a shortage. Long story short, right there. It is um, Sriracha. I think that's how you say it. It's a Asian dipping sauce. And this is a 28 ounce and it sold for $54.99. So this person found it in their cupboard and they sold it for $54.99 free shipping because of a shortage in Mexican chilies sold within an hour of listing. So this is the hot thing right now. So some people are getting angry about it. Would you, would, are you angry or are you, I'm going to sell it. Which person are you? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I bet if you use it, you're angry because you're like, what? Stop it. Okay. I see both sides. I see both sides. It would be frustrating if you like wanted the item because $54 is a lot for some hot sauce. <laughs> wow. Okay. This one comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty right here. This is her YouTube channel and her eBay store is also the same. I will link her down below. She's incredible. She's also coming to Whatnot. So check her out over there. If you're not on Whatnot, there is a link down below. It's my referral link. You get $15 to shop when you join with that. So go join and come follow me, Bolo Buddies, over on Whatnot. I would love to see you guys in the chat. Even if you don't buy, just come hang out. All right. She's got some good bolos here. Wait until you see this one. Oh my goodness. It's the one you've all been waiting for. Actually, it's the one I've been waiting to tell everyone about. Okay, so she said, this was a fun one. I bought a lot of Christmas decorations all under the staircase at a local online auction for $10.86. Only showed a bunch of boxes, not knowing anything at all what was in them. As I pulled boxes out from the staircase, I was somewhat disappointed not finding things I'd hoped to. But way back in the corner was this one box that was three, these deer. I couldn't wait to get home to see what they were worth. I about fell over. Not bad. $11 investment. Cha-ching. She sold them for $300. They're 1920s uh, Germany Bamini, Bamini Mercury Glass Christmas Reindeer with their boxes. Wow. All right, are you guys ready? This next one, she bought on Whatnot. Pat Feel and Thrifty. I was over at Lucky Day. It was Lucky Day Collectibles, but now it's Lucky Day Shop. So I was watching Lucky Day Shop on Whatnot. And Cat Feel and Thrifty, I think she messaged me or something, but I was like, hey, I'm over at Lucky Day Shop. And I'm, you know, I buy stuff from her Whatnot and I resell it. And so she came over, right? So I'm bidding on some stuff. She's bidding on some stuff. Well, she pulls out. It, she did like a pick three, I think it was. I can't remember exactly. 
So I stopped bidding at $9. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? No, cat feeling thrifty. I'm not upset. And um, Lucky Day Shops is not upset either. Um, I actually messaged her and I'm like, you're not going to believe what your hummingbird sold for. And she's like, oh, I'm so happy for her. She's so nice. She is so nice. Oh my goodness. You guys go show my friends some love. Um, Lucky Day, she changed her name, Lucky Day Shops. Um, go show her some love because you might snag a deal. I've gotten some beautiful stuff from her. But anyway, the hummingbird, three bucks is what she ended up paying for it because she got three for nine. She sold this Trafari hummingbird for $400, $400. It's a crown Trafari Alfred Felipe World War II red, blue enamel rhinestone hummingbird brooch. Now, Catfield and Thrifty did not know it was worth $400. We both knew it was Trafari and it could could be a bolo. So we were both bidding on it, but we, neither one of us knew. I mean, I'm clueless about jewelry. If you guys come to my whatnot shows, you guys know I'm clueless, but I know that Trafari is a good brand. So this one is apparently something very, very special and maybe she could have gotten more for it. I'm pretty sure it sold on auction way higher, but it was a non-paying buyer. So she just went ahead and did a buy it now. Um, but yeah, so Cat Feel and Thrifty and Lucky Day Shops, both on Whatnot. If this has not convinced you to go over to Whatnot, oh my goodness. Seriously, get your $15 to shop with my referral link and come hang out. These things happen all the time. And um, I told her I was putting it in a video and she's happy. So you guys go follow her and uh, follow Cat Feel and Thrifty. She's going to have a show also. All right, here's another one from Cat Feel and Thrifty. She said, I bought this purse and matching cosmetic bag at a yard sale for $3, sold within one week for $38.25. It is a Sack Roots coated canvas shoulder purse tote matching cosmetic bag piece birds. All right, so back to the whole, am I upset that I didn't get the Trifari brooch? I mean, it would have been nice, but no, I'm not upset. Cat Feel and Thrifty is one of the sweetest, most generous people ever. She sent me these cute little owl earrings that I have on right now. She's just a sweetheart. So no, I'm happy she got it. And Lucky Day Shops is happy also. And it's Lucky Day Shops on TikTok also. Um, Ned Royd, Ned Royd plus... Uh, Vocaloid plush doll series. I have, I can't, this is crazy. Hatsune Miku plush doll. <sighs> Paid 99 cents from a thrift store. Still had the tags attached. I usually pick up plush geared towards grown-ups more so than kids. Sells better for me. Also, anime plush go for good money. Copied someone's info. I don't know what half of that stuff means. Oh, good. Because me neither. Started at 65, then 50, took an offer of 38. I know I should have got more if I waited. Listed in February on Mercari. How, uh, and this comes from Ray Nathan RZ. So she is a bolo man. Oh my goodness, she is a Bolo Buddies member also, so I will link her down in the description. Here's her next one. Halloween tree with blinking green eyes and eerie sounds. Ghosts. Paid $3.99 last year around Halloween. The tree has two faces. One face lights up and the tree makes spooky sounds. Ghosts are ceramic on springs, so kind of boings around when it's moved from 1999. I just thought it was unique and well-made and sold for $59.99 plus shipping on Etsy. Here's another one. Princess Beauty Organizer Planner Notebook Korea Vintage 1999. Got it at a thrift store for $0.99 cents or $2.99. I don't think she could remember which. I sell a lot of vintage planners. Since this was Korean, vintage, and a planner, I figured it would sell. After doing some research, I saw that none of these sold, but people had listed around $99 to $139. I put it at $129.99 plus shipping. I put best offer on it and accepted offer of $85 trying to move inventory. Had been up since January and it sold on eBay. And this is what it looks like. Super cute. 
On June 16th, there was a post in this group about an amethyst Blanco glass double spout pitcher. Hours later, I was at the Goodwill and couldn't believe my eyes, but there sat the same one. It was priced at $5.99, so I scooped it up, took it home, and immediately listed it for $65. On June 21st, I took an offer of $50 plus shipping because, you know, summer slump and all that. <laughs> summer slump. I love it. Oh, boy. Who's feeling the summer slump? I love that, summer slump. Uh, usually, people call it the summer slowdown, but I'm digging the summer slump. So, thank you and this to this group that is so helpful and is teaching me so much. The sad thing is I remember seeing Blanco glass in the past and walking right by it. And this is what it looks like. Hi, we found these floating action pins at a local thrift for 99 cents. Sold the same day for $49.99 plus shipping. They have liquid inside and different scenes that move when you tilt them. Oh, that's really cool. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member K Hoff 77. And when you hear me shout out a eBay store or a YouTube channel and pop up a screenshot and I will have them linked down in the description. They are Bolo Buddies member members at level two or higher and that is their perk. So check them out. They have great YouTube channels, awesome eBay stores. They uh, Most of them have been reselling for a long time and they are Bolo finders. So be sure to give them a follow and those are all linked down below. And this is what those pens look like. Picked up this unknown to me children's book at a thrift store for 99 cents. It is apparently a hard to find first edition picture book. Wow. It took about six months to sell for a best offer of 100 plus shipping. That's awesome. Jelly Beans for Breakfast, Miriam Young Parents Mag 1968 Vintage Hardcover First Edition. I picked this um, psychedelic needlepoint up at an estate sale for 20. I planned on keeping it for myself, but decided to list it to see if it would get any bites. I didn't see anything close to it for sale, so I randomly priced it at 185. It sold in two hours on Mercari for 185 plus shipping. She titled it Vintage 70s Candy Needlepoint Wall Pop Art Framed Silk Screen Psychedelic. Awesome keywords. Check it out. It's got the banner through it. Oh, nope. She did another one. That is rad. Oh my goodness. I might have put that on eBay auction. Oh, look at the candy. Are those those little things that are on the paper that you pull off? I remember having those as a kid. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Thank you for putting out daily bolo videos. I learned so much from you as I also love to sell toys. I purchased a Barbie doll in a bag at a thrift store for $2.50. She was a basic doll but was wearing this beautiful outfit. It took hours of research but I found out that the outfit was made by a furrier in New York City in the 90s who created limited edition real mink coats and leather accessories for Barbie. What? Other eBay listings had certificates of authenticity, the original Barbie and the original box and were listed up to 500. Since I didn't have any of those things, I listed mine at 85 plus shipping and included that in my description. This lot sold on Mercari for the full asking price in less than 15 minutes. The buyer said her best friend had been looking for these items and that she was surprising him with the gift for his birthday. Wow. Check it out. Goodwill find paid $10 for both took a best offer of 40 plus shipping and tax buyer was all in for 5731 she seemed happy they were so cute ikea black cat matram bolster lumber pillows and this is what they look like okay this is this is a long one not my highest bolo by far but still kind of cool i went to an estate sale Per the lady running the estate, the previous owner had kept everything from her three daughters that were all born in the early 80s. Everything was stored neatly in totes in her attic. I bought a ton of vintage baby clothes, 206 pieces to be exact, and about 10 full circle pageant dresses, shoes, hats, coats, sweaters, bibs, and blankets included. I was amazed at the condition of all the clothes, all spotless clean. Wow, you're going to do great. 
Also, there was a table with tons of assorted vintage paper napkins from the 80s, some still sealed in their packages. I paid $5 for the whole table of napkins and $15 for each big box of clothes, baby items, and whatever else I could stuff in the boxes. I had three big boxes. I sorted the paper napkins when I got home, and I separated them into many individual lots. This particular lot of strawberry shortcake had a lot of interest. Glad to see they went to someone who really wanted them instead of a landfill. I still have many more napkin lots to list along with hundreds of other items still from the estate sale. Courtney, thank you the education and thank you for the education and all you do. Oh, thank you so much. This is a new Bolo Buddies member. She is Nooks, Crannies, and Irresistibles. I love her eBay store name, and this is what it looks like, and she will be linked down below. So check her out. Uh, so it's strawberry shortcake napkins, and it's sold for $24.05. That was a great story. And yeah, those full circle skirts. Okay, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Antiques from Karen. And she is also on Whatnot, so check her out over there as well. Found all of these in the bottom of a toy tote in Mama's house. It appears she picked them up in a Goodwill grab bag at some point, and the bag tore open. They were everywhere. I gathered up as many as I could find and posted pictures in a Help Me Identify My Toys Facebook group. They figured them out in under 24 hours. I listed them for 199 on auction and got lots of watchers and views, but no bids. Relisted them at 125, buy it now, and left it alone. Within a week, I got an offer for 80. I countered at 110 and they paid immediately. Their pieces missing, heads missing, etc. But they wanted them anyway. These are apparently a huge bolo. There, there's individual ones listed for 20 to 40 each. As you already know, I have way too much stuff, so I just did a big lot of them. I managed to list 145 items in the month of June, and I'm happy that stuff is finally starting to move. Thanks, Courtney. Okay, so Antiques from Karen, Janet, is her YouTube channel. She also does live sales over there, and recently she had her first show on Whatnot, and she was selling toys, so come check her out. But these are Warhammer Miniatures, 8th edition, Island of Blood, huge lot, 100 plus pieces, incomplete. Awesome. Here's another one from Antiques from Karen. This is one of many antique books that I found in my mother's estate, many of which had book plates with my great-great-grandparents' names in them. I should have listed this one higher and waited. It sold in seven-day auction with one bid that came within hours of posting for $225. 1860 Antique Women's Record, uh, Distinguished Sarah Joseph Hale Godey's HCM Gold. I'm not sure what all that means, but that's what it looks like. This one comes from Franklin Hill Ventures, who is also on Whatnot. He also has a YouTube channel. I will link him down below. Um, he sells a lot of a ephemera on Whatnot, so go and follow him over there. Bought this vintage Bulova watch at a yard sale for a dollar and sold it on Etsy for $164. He is Etsy store FHV, I'm sorry, FH Ventures and YouTube is Franklin Hill Ventures. And uh, whatnot is Franklin Hill Ventures as also. And he also helps moderate in the group. So go show him some love. I purchased this item for $4 at a garage sale last summer, and it finally sold a year later for the price listed of $350.99. This one comes from the Collectibles Cafe. It is a Mother Goose Bookie Blocks Antique 1922 Complete Wooden Metal Hinge Book Set. Oh, how cool is that? I love it. It says, here's the feedback. I have never had such a beautifully wrapped and shipped order in my life. You are so very professional with a great eye for detail. Thank you so much for such a unique item. Oh, that's awesome. Here's another one from Antiques from Karen. This, these surprised me. Apparently, the Ologies have a huge following. The calendars are pretty rare. The buyer messaged me asking if I shipped Croatia. No idea. I said, we messaged back and forth for over an hour while she, she's waiting for me to flip my whole store over to eBay International Shipping. There was no way for her to request an invoice for combined shipping on two items, so I ended one listing and added the info 
for both items to the listing for her. She was ecstatic. Full asking price of 25 each for uh, both. So they're calendars. Huh. This is what they look like. Both of my highest selling items in June were original artwork by known artists. The first is an oil painting of ducks in a swamp. I bought it at my local Goodwill for $9.99. It sold on auction with one bid for $89. And this comes from, I just featured them earlier. She didn't put Bolo Eddie's member. It's Edge City Traders, I think, or Edge City Thrifters. I don't know. Here's their YouTube channel and eBay store. I'm going to pop it up right here. Um, but Edge City is what it says in the thing. So in the future, if you're watching, please hashtag Bolo Buddies member with your eBay store right beside it. So when I'm doing the video, I have that information. Um, I may have missed you in a past video. If you didn't do that, I'm so sorry. Okay, the other is an original artwork that sold in June and a framed colored pencil drawing. I bought it for five at a local thrift store that benefited animal charities. It was listed exactly a year. I had it listed for 134 and sold it for an offer of 107 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. And the last one comes from Bolo Buddies member Impressions Created. This is her eBay store. My June Bolo are these antique birthing chairs. Yes, this is for giving birth. This is the second set I have sold. These are from Belgium or the style of Belgium. They came from a German estate sale from a local online auction company. And this is the second time they had these not knowing what they were. They sell them like their children's chairs. I paid 15 including auctioneer fees and taxes and sold them for a best offer of 225. They paid 112 for shipping. So yes, people will pay for shipping if they really want the item. They were all in for $358.62. Last year, I sold a set from Spain with three legs on Facebook Marketplace for similar price. So they are different styles. So you do have to do some research, but these are well worth it. Keep an eye out. Vintage, primitive, antique, wooden, birthing chairs, mid 1800s, early 1900s, set of two. Never seen anything like that. Awesome, awesome information. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. All right, you guys, we're going to end this video here. Um, check out some of my other Bolo videos. This is a whole series. I think there were seven or eight this month. It was a great share month. Lots of really awesome Bolos. So check out some of those other videos. Uh, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a video down below and a subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Let me know how you found the channel. Leave me an emoji. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that hot sauce and thanks for watching.